Hello, sports fans and football fans and uh, people who like my picks videos. I mean, I think that's why you're here, right? Well, last week, the sportsman got his ass handed to him. I was only eight and eight last week. Eight and eight. Say what? A chimp at the zoo could be eight and eight. So it was a rough week. To say the very least, it was a rough week. So that was the uh, that was the bad news. The good news is this week looks a little better for me with some of the matchups. So anyway, with the uh, with the eight and eight week, I am something like. I don't know. I got 39, right? I'll put the put it across the screen. But anyway, on the year, I am still over 60%. So let's get into the picks this week and hope we do better. The first one is the Thursday, October 7th game. And this is going to be the Seahawks at the Rams. Now, one thing the Rams taught me this past week is that they are not the class of the NF NFC. It still may be the Buccaneers because they got manhandled in their game. And the Seahawks taught me not to ever count them out. So we're going to go with the Seahawks. Take the Seahawks at home over the Rams, the 12th man, all that good stuff. Yeah, we're going to go with the Seahawks. The next one is a game in Las Vegas between the Vegas Raiders and the Bears. Now, my Bears did win last week, but I still don't trust them playing a high-powered, high-octane offense like the Raiders. With Carr at the helm, he's got one of the best quarterback ratings in the league, and uh, the Bears are still trying to figure out an identity. So, and the game is in Las Vegas. So we're going to go with the uh, Las Vegas Raiders in this one. So, yeah. There you go on that one. The next one we've got is the Falcons are at home taking on the Jets. Now, the Jets got their first win of the year last week in overtime. It was quite impressive. Against the Titans, no less. And um, the, I think the Falcons won. I want to say the Falcons won. But neither one of these teams is very impressive on the year. But I delved into the stats. I delved into the offensive stats, the defensive stats. And this game is in Atlanta. So I am going to go with the Falcons on this one. But it should be a very good game. I think it's going to be a good game. I'm not even throwing the Jets helmet this week because I think it's going to be a good game. The next one we have is the Washington football team at home taking on the Saints. And as bad as the Saints looked last week and the way that they're like a Jekyll and Hyde and they're just not the dominant Saints that they were back in the Breeze days... I'm still going to go with the Saints. Let's take the Saints in this one. Uh, I like the Washington football team. They won for me last week when I said they would win. They pulled it out. They have a good defense, but I just, I don't really see them beating the Saints. I just don't think that that's something that's going to happen. So, um, the next one we're going to do is the Bengals are at home taking on the pack and yeah yeah <laughs> let's go with the pack in this one yeah I'm not uh, I'm not about to tell you that the Bengals are going to beat the Packers uh, even though the Bengals are at home and even though they have been you know better than they have been in past years I'm not sitting here telling you the Packers are going to lose to them now the next one we have is the Vikings are at home taking on the Lions yeah we're going to go with the Vikings for a lot of reasons here. Uh, last week, they 
they barely lost the game. I think it was a 14-7 game that they lost. They you now Kirk Cousins is actually one of the highly most highly rated quarterbacks in the league, and you know <laughs> the Lions. So yeah, I mean we're gonna go with the Vikings in that one. I don't see the Lions winning just yet. Maybe not ever. Uh, and the next one is the uh, Steelers are at home, and they're taking on the Broncos. And I know, yes, Bridgewater was knocked out of last week's game with a concussion. They're going to go through the concussion protocols. He may be back for the game. But even if he's not back for the game and it's Drew Locke, I'm still going to go with the Broncos because they have a good defense. They have an offensive game plan that they know what they're doing. These guys, the Steelers, no. They don't know what they're doing. They have no idea. The Steelers are a mess right now. And I'm not taking a mess against a pretty solid Denver team. The next one we have is the Jags are at home taking on the Titans. The Titans lost last week to the Jets. And the Jags look good for a lot of the game against the Bengals. So this is going to be my upset special. I am going to go with the Jaguars to beat the Titans. Yes, indeed. Take the, uh, take the Jags in that one. Next one you got is the Panthers at home against the Eagles. The Panthers last week, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dallas, and Dallas is a high-octane offense. They dropped, a, what, third, what was it, 38 points on them? But I still think they have a very good defense, and Darnold is getting better every game. I'm going to go with the Panthers at home uh, over the Eagles. The Eagles have had their, you know, they've had their moments where they've shined a little bit, but they haven't really quite broken through yet. And I think the Panthers are definitely the Panthers at home should beat them. By the way, this week I am taking a lot of the home teams. I'm going back to basics, taking the home teams. So, uh, let's see. Uh, the next one we have, the Buccaneers and Miami. You know what? The Buccaneers didn't really look very impressive beating New England. And in fact, they needed a missed field goal by New England on the last, like right near the end of the game, in order to win that one. But I'm going to go with the Buccaneers, yeah. I mean, you know, they're home, but is anybody really, um, let's see, yeah, the Buccaneers are at home, but is really either of these teams not home? I mean, they're both Florida teams. But anyway, yeah, let's go with the Buccaneers. I think they're going to find a way, just like Brady did against, I mean, and really, if you go back and look at some of their games, he had to come up with something to pull it out in the end. They haven't been winning impressively, but I think they'll beat the Dolphins. Next one we have is the Texans are at home against the aforementioned Patriots. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with the uh, Patriots in this one. The Texans, you know, ever since, they, ever since uh, Tyrod Taylor went down, I don't think they have a chance. Tyrod Taylor... With Tyrod Taylor, they were a somewhat, you know, viable team. But now, no, they're not. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. The next game we have is the Chargers are at home against the Browns. And I am going to give a slight edge in this one. To the Chargers, they're at home. The Browns, the Browns have an impressive record, but they haven't looked impressive winning some of their games. So I'm going to go with the Chargers in that one. Um, the next one is the Cardinals are at home against the 49ers. Now, the Cardinals are undefeated. And they play, it's not like they haven't played anybody, you know, or nobodies. So... They are undefeated. I think they beat Seattle. I know for a fact 
that they just came off a game where they beat the Rams, who were supposed to be the, <laughs> we're there, the new NFC champions. No, not the way they looked. So I am going to go with the Cardinals in this one over the 49ers. No, the 49ers are not going to beat the Cardinals. I don't see it happening. The next one you have, now this one should be a no-brainer. In most game, you know, most people's minds, this is a lock. It's Dallas at home against the New York Giants, who are, I want to say, no, they won. They did win in overtime. So they have one win. Now, I am going to go with Dallas in this one, but only tentatively. No, not really tentatively. Actually, we're going to go full bore on Dallas, but... It, this would be just the game where I say this and it's a lock and all this good stuff and then Daniel Jones will come out and he'll run all over the Dallas defense. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. That's probably going to happen. But uh, we will see. I'm still going to... I'm My pick is Dallas. And yours should be too in that game. Next one we have is the... The Bills and the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are at home in this one, but I'm going with the Bills. The Bills were impressive. They kicked the Texans' butt last week. Now, I know it's the Texans, but it was 40 to nothing. 40 to nothing. And the Chiefs, I watched the Chiefs game. They can't tackle. I, think in the, I don't think... Either team, they played Philadelphia. I don't think either team punted in the first half. I don't think the Chiefs even punted in the game. But the Eagles certainly didn't punt in the first half, at least. So, I mean, the Chiefs' defense is horrible. And against a team like the Bills, you know, like some teams, you know, the Eagles, all right, you can get away with that because Mahomes will probably outscore them. But I don't think they can get away with it against the Bills. And then you've got the Monday, October 11th game. And this is the Ravens at home playing the Colts. Yeah, let's go with the Ravens on that one. I do not see the Ravens losing to the Colts. And I wasn't 100% uh, sold two weeks ago on the Ravens. They've had some iffy wins, but they should beat the Colts. So those are my picks. What do you guys think? Leave your picks below, or at least the picks that you disagree with me on. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Just even boop that thing. Just hit the thumbs up, even if you don't want to leave a, a, a note for me. And other than that, hey, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It doesn't cost you anything. And, uh, you know, you can even hit the notification bell, and then you'll be notified every time I put these videos up. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Signing off.